Remember these 3D glasses from the 50s? Well, they're back, but this time it's at the planetarium, not the movie theater. Science students in Pittsburgh put on the glasses to take a mind-bending tour inside cells. Dick Wilson reports. Uh, sir, you'll need some glasses. You need your glasses in one. You didn't get your one. It's field trip day for these seventh graders in Pittsburgh at the Carnegie Science Center's planetarium. Planetariums exist to show people the stars, but this is a groundbreaking program for a planetarium. It's an interactive 3D show called Journey into the Living Cell. The focus is not on astronomy, but biology. They are as numerous as grains of sand on a beach, as curious, as varied, and as alien from one another as creatures in a science fiction film. The show is science fact brought vividly to life on the giant canvas of the planetarium dome. The journey takes the audience on a 3D thrill ride into the microscopic world of the cell, the basic unit of life. Yet we know today that each of the millions upon millions of forms that life takes on our planet is but a mask concealing a deep... We thought that our rather dramatic and dynamic images of living cells and tissues would be perfect for stimulating K-12 through students' interests in biology. Intermediate filaments, in contrast, are more stable and more... Even for those people who really don't understand it scientifically, it's a very fulfilling um, experience. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it reaches you inside, it touches you through the music, it touches you through the visuals. You know that you've seen something really beautiful right. about yourself and about science. To bring the show to life, the makers relied on a huge array of computers and projectors and the expertise of planetarium director Martin Ratcliffe. Just behind me here we have a graphics display of what is called Digistar. Uh, Digistar is a computer graphics system that allows us a full hemispherical dome projection of real-time video graphics, be they the sky, night sky or uh, the inside of a living cell or a whole city. Audience members can control the movement of molecules in the cells. Going up, so going to go back down. They vote as a group on what direction the molecules move using infrared signals to sensors in the dome. The Carnegie Science Center is making the journey inside the living cell available to planetaria around the world soon. Next up for the show creators, a look inside the human brain. Dick Wilson, CNN, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.